Tested through three national anthems. United States and Monaco. Look at him still looking at Davy Moore. And look at Moore look back. He can smile, however. He weighed in at 156 pounds. Tail of the tape under records. Benitez, 45 wins. Three losses. And listen to, as he bows to the crowd here, the losses. Hearns, Duran, and Leonard. One draw, Harold Weston. He reversed that. 25-year-old Benitez weighing 152, four-pound pull of the weights for more. The height of 5'9 is the same, and the reach is the same. They'll be boxing in a ring that is 17 feet 9 inches square. They are wearing 8-ounce gloves. And remember that Moore won his title as a 22-year-old, and Benitez won his first at 17, his second title at 20, and at age 22, as we look at the referee, we have all Italian judges. This is Gerlando Lucci of Milano, and Angelo Paletti and Mario Poloni of G Genova uh, are the two judges. All three figure in the 10-point must scoring system. Three knockdowns in one round, the fight is stopped. Mandatory eight counts, standing eight count at the referee's discretion. As we say, the two judges and the referee score the fight. Prince Rainier the third on the right, and uh, the crown prince on his left, a delightful guy. There he is, Prince Albert Alexander. This stadium named for Prince Rainier's uncle, Louis II, who inaugurated the Grand Prix of Monaco here in Monte Carlo in 1929. To be a true Monegasque, as they say here, you must love sport. So they've come out, about 3,000 strong, on a beautiful night, balmy night, to see Davy Moore, at home we're looking, go against Wilfred Benitez. Round one, ten rounds, this is the schedule length. Each has had a fight this year. The last fight for Benitez in uh, the shorter of the two red trunks on the far side. It was against Stacy McSwain, February 11th. Uh, in Detroit. He won a 10-round decision, whereas Davey Moore, now on the left in red and white, as is Benitez, was March 14th. He knocked out Monty Oswald in the third round in Atlantic City. A man that likes to hook with his left hand is on the right, Davey Moore, and sometimes that punch starts a little low and lands low. He there brought it up and tried to uh, land it on the chin of Benitez on the far side. Benitez is a man that likes to hit and not get hit. On canny reflexes, he's often uh, accused of having a built-in radar. And he's hoping tonight that uh, all channels are tuned in because Moore is a puncher. Ten knockouts in his 13 victories. His first three, he won by decision. Then he was either involved in a knockout, winning or losing to Duran, highlights of which you saw a little bit earlier on ABC's Wide World of Sports. 26 knockouts for Benitez. Most of them coming in later rounds. Five one-round knockouts in a career that started when he was 15 years old, later came to felt forum in New York, lying about his age to get a license because you have to be 18 under the New York State Athletic Commission rules. Very little uh, action here. In fact, it's dull. Usually the first round is a probing one. Benitez uh, trying to find the range and he walked inside and he got tagged by Davey Moore. All right, coming around to the right, that is Wilfred Benitez. And now on the right, that is Davey Moore of the Bronx, New York. Only his 15th fight. Imagine going all the way to Japan. But imagine coming here and catching Benitez with a right hand. Benitez is in trouble. Benitez, who has been knocked down by the likes of Bruce Curry and others down the road, usually can shape it, shake it off. He said he's in the best condition. Everybody's, his eyes now are like the roulette wheels in Monte Carlo at the casino. Let's see if he has enough presence. He usually has a great defense, but more now is flailing away. Probably should step back, uh, collect his thoughts because he's missing. But it is missing because Benitez is great at feigning the punches. That was one of the most dramatic, sudden right hands we've ever seen. And it's exactly what he did to Murata, the uh, champion from Japan, when Murata had dropped his two hands as Benitez did. One, two, and he was down and the fight was over. Davey Moore trying everything. 
We're coming up now with about five seconds left in this first round, so we're going to stay right here to see if we can get a rundown on the condition of Benitez, who was knocked down in that first round. Still his eyes. Look at him trying to shape the rubber out of his knees, especially in the right leg. That's his father, Gregorio Benitez, in the ring, along with his brother, Gregory, rubbing uh, the right knee now. Only one minute in which to shake the cobwebs. All right, let's look here. There was a little left hook. Moore uh, up on his toes, dancing. Benitez's dukes are down just a little below his chin. And there it is. He threw a left hand, a right cross, cut Benitez, and he was down. And you have to say a lot, thanks to the veteran of 49 fights, he was able to avoid getting punched out and being knocked out in this very first round. Now, as we go into the second, we'll see just what type of condition Benitez uh, is in coming into the ring. He uh, trained at Antilles in France. San Remo was the training site for this man, Davey Moore. Moore having fought practically all over the world for Benitez. It's the first time he's come to Europe to box. And now, round two. Needless to say, that round went to Davey Moore. Second round scheduled for 10. And Benita's still bothered by uh, muscular reaction in his right leg. He keeps shaking it. And uh, this is not uncommon for him. If you've seen him fight before, you know he likes to fight off the ropes. But look, he has a cramp, a charley horse in his right leg. Now, I don't know whether he got hit low or not. He's complaining of a low blow. There is a protective cup. There is a... The referee has a the luxury of giving a standing eight count it's at his discretion to give the fighter who in this case Benita is thinking that he was hit low it's a an Italian Federation rule and you see it in the amateur ranks and I like it I think it's good but Benitez just seems to be frozen against his own corner he fights a lot off the ropes and is clever at it but there he caught a left hook and he's in a position there against that ring post where if Moore keeps pinning him there, and with enough leverage, he'll really put him out of it. The second round, after about a minute and 15 seconds, if you just join us, Wilfred Benitez. He's been down before, but he caught a right cross from Davey Moore and went down, taking the mandatory eight count, then getting up and was really in trouble. But here he's now punching back, showing a little bit of offense. But there, a right hand coming over a left hand. And the referee now, no. The referee, no, I can't believe this. The referee, Gerlando Lucia, he has stopped the fight. Gerlando Lucia, in his opinion, again, su subjective judgment, he felt that Benitez was not able to defend himself. I question that. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. But here is a man, and what a big victory for Davey Moore, who needed this to get back into the title picture, the junior middleweight championship, which has a limit of 154 pounds. Tonight, Moore was 156. Benitez, well, perhaps he's too finely trimmed at 152. He could probably make the welterweight limit at 147, but for Benitez, this was the lightest he's been since he fought Sugar Ray Leonard and lost one of his three titles. 118 of the second round here in Monaco. You're probably saying that's a long distance to go to see a minute and less than a half of a scheduled 10-round bout. The referee's name, Gerlando Lucia of Milano, Italy. So here now, as we pointed out, he was in against his own uh, corner, the ring post, and uh, leaning against him more. There are the punches. Now, that was the right hand that probably had the referee coming in. It was a fairly solid right hand. But as you saw, Benitez knows how to slip and roll with punches. He was going away from the blow, and his knees did not buckle at all. Nevertheless, at 118 of the second round, the winner of this bout, Davey Moore, from the Bronx, New York, in his 15th fight, winning it over the great champion, Wilfred Benitez, here in the Principality of Monaco. We're going to take a break here at ringside. Stunned ringside. Then we'll be back.
you got to sitting in the corner taking punishment for what he got to come out and fight he just can't stay in the one corner and take punishment no i wasn't really surprised but i was surprised that he stayed in the corner like he did hampshire i thought he was gonna change up his fight plan which he didn't now your your first right hand baby in the first round that knocked him down that was a beautifully delivered well-timed punch anybody would go down if they had caught it now i question the power in that last punch which caused the italian referee to come in well it was accumulation of a lot of punches then the right hand the last punch it was a hard punch hit him on the top of the head it was hard here you take a look at this now you've got him in the corner and of course that's always dangerous for him yeah, right i mean he used to be a good guy in the corner but that was a pretty good uppercut really but he's fighting back, David. Right, right. But well, hold up. We'll, we'll see. All when he right. stops fighting back and I double up on the hook, there you go. All right. Hey, he's stumbling. See, he don't know where he at. He's, his head is going bobbing, weaving. All right. I mean, there's a lot of depth in boxing. Let, let's, let's stop it. Okay. So the referee stopped at 118 of the second round. Now, we can only think... Could this be the end of Wilfred Benitez? Weight and light at 152. Uh, he's had a long career. You started when he was 15 years old. Yeah, he's still a young man, but he's an old fighter. That's he's, the whole he, point. Ten right. years as a pro. Right. Well, I don't. I don't really know. I mean, he he didn't show much opposition tonight. He, I mean, he tried. It was for my shape. I was in good shape. Dave, you were. And let's take a look now. This, you're setting him up with that right cross. He threw a left. Now watch. Describe it. Well, I was setting him up. I was always working my left hand. I told you everything is behind the left hand. I told you that today. And after he threw his left, I counted over and threw my right hand. It's perfect punch. I, I use it all the time to spawn. He just fell for the old right hand over the left. I think there was no animosity. Didn't he earlier today tell you that he was going to knock you out in two rounds? Right. And I said, yeah, we'll see. But I know he was going to go in two. These kids from the South Bronx are tough, aren't they? Oh, well, not everybody's not tough. Well, I'm, I'm pretty tough. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, would you like to do next? Who well, would you I, like to fight? I want them all. I want, I want Hearns. Give me Hearns now. You do he, want he him was, now? He went 15 rounds with Benitez. He couldn't yeah. knock him out when he took his title. H Hagler, I take him on, too. I think anybody, the vacated title with Duran vacated when he fought Hearns. He, he lost the title before he even got in the ring. Anybody. I mean, I take on anybody. All comers. Don't I matter. I pointed out earlier, uh, Davey. That when you don't have that championship belt, right. there's an emptiness. Makes you hungry. I'm, I'm starving. I'm really starving. I'm hungry. I tell you, give me a hern. I want hern's now. Everybody, because when he beat Durant in the second round, everybody, oh, wow, he's ready for Hagler. He's ready for...